Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video, I thought I'd do a bag review. Now back at Christmas, January time for my birthday, I decided to purchase a Fairfax and Favour kind of work bag. And I'd been looking for a number of months because I wanted it to be practical, but also aesthetically really lovely. And a lot of the ones I'd looked at before of different brands, they were maybe really good on a practical side, but not that great looking or vice versa. And one of my friends recommended Fairfax and Favour and I saw them on social media and while I was back in the UK, I actually had an appointment with them to go through various items that they'd got. Uh, what I'll do is I'll link a card in the corner and in the description bar below when I went to Stanford on my Stanford vlog and kind of show you a few of the things that I kind of looked at. But in particular, the main thing really was a work bag. Now, this is the work bag. If I've got some pictures as well, when I opened it, I'll put it on screen but it is a tan pebbled leather and this is called the Windsor work bag and it comes in different sizes you can have I think it's the Windsor handbag the Windsor work bag or I think there's like a mini version and I really wanted it to be leather because I wanted it to be quite durable and I specifically wanted tan now I pretty much have a lot of black bags and I didn't want another black bag as much as I kind of like the neutral tones I just kind of wanted something kind of of a tan vibe and thought I'd give this a go and it had got really good reviews online so I thought I'll try it out and initially I went in store just to see what it was like for real so I quite like when I'm buying things specifically that I've got requirements I need I would rather go in store and check them out than actually buy online especially when I'm not that familiar with the brand but for Fairfax and Favour they've just got clothes, footwear, belts, um, lots of bags, all sorts of things. So also as well, if you guys did want to shop at Fairfax and Favour, I've got a 10% uh, discount link, which I'll put in the description bar below. But this isn't sponsored. I paid for the bag myself. So a little bit about Fairfax and Favour. So I think from my understanding, it was two guys that came together and wanted to set it up initially based on, I think it was footwear, like countryside style footwear. And I think it was Marcus Fairfax Fontaine and Felix Favour Parker, I think. And they used their names to make Fairfax and Favour. So, and I think there's various stores and you can kind of buy online. Uh, but because I was in the UK, it was just really useful to be able to kind of check them out. But I think their premise is very much town and countryside vibes. Uh, there's got a lot of clothing, um, again, footwear, bags, belts, um, lots of accessories. So depending on what you wanted, there's like kind of like um, sandals and trainers and also high heel boots, which I also wanted to check out while I was in store. And the bag, which is the Windsor work bag, was I think £415, I think. Again, I'll put the details in the description bar. So when I went in store, checked it out, spoke to the staff there who were lovely. So I went to the Stamford um, branch, which was kind of the nearest to me at the time. And they were so helpful. We went through so many different bags. Oh my God, literally so many different bags. <laughs> I apologize, girls. Um, I did particularly love the Windsor. That was kind of my sweet spot, but I wanted to see what other ones they had as well and actually how they would suit on my body type as well. So what I'll do is I will break it down into pros and cons and then I'll kind of give a summary at the end because I've had about three months now of having the bag and using it pretty much constantly. I wanted to give you kind of a fair breakdown of what I thought. So what we'll do is we will get started with the pros first. Now, one of the main things that drew me to this bag uh, was the colour. Like, this is a tan pebbled leather. And I don't know if you can kind of see it on screen. It is gorgeous. Such good quality leather. I mean, I've battered it. It's been on um, flights. It's been um, squished in overhead cabins. And yeah, it's... It's, it's done pretty well, actually. I don't think I've scuffed it too much. And for me, um, so it was £415, which isn't cheap, but it's not thousands of pounds. But also the nature of the bag, it, it's going to get a battering. I, I'm not that precious about it. I am, you know, when I'm using it, 
not being too delicate. So it has took quite a thrashing. And from what I can see, I don't think I've scuffed it. So if you can kind of see on the back and then you've got kind of underneath. So as you open it up, now it's probably best if I put the images on screen because it might be difficult to see when I show you. But one of the main things is you can see here, there's two kind of separate sections. This is a padded section for laptops. And then there's another section which, which isn't padded, but it's also zipped. Now you can fit, because I've done it, two MacBook Airs in. So one in each zip compartment, but only the back compartment has got the padded section. Now, I would say once you've got those in, it's easy to zip up. And another pro is the hardware. So again, you've got all the kind of branded Fairfax and Favour, but it's really sturdy zips and buckles. And it just, it feels nice. It's not flimsy hardware which I do really like. And another thing as well, with Fairfax and Favour, they do sell these little tassels. Now this is detachable. It's like got a little popper. So it comes with this one, but you can actually swap them out and get different colored ones, different you know kind of suede and leathers. So you can kind of swap it out depending on what you wanted to go for. For me personally, that's a nice little added adaption to the bag if you wanted to do it. But I just really like it being that that tan leather together. So I just have that one. But it's it's nice as an option. Then another good thing about this bag, as well as it having the sections for the laptop, you can also possibly see inside you've got various sections. So you've got the main section to put items in, then a little subsection. And then within that, like another little mini section. And I love that. So I've previously had a Sen Rev bag and it's kind of got the same principle behind it where it's not just one big open bag space. You've got all these little subsections and I like that for what I do for work. So you've kind of separated out the laptop sections and then you've got the other bits to put kind of your phone and, and other items in. And you've also got the zip at the back as well. Now it does extend as well. You will see here I've got at the sides. So you've got these sections that you kind of pop her to make it wider or not as wide just by extending it. And it just opens out like that, which is good because if I'm loading it up with all sorts of stuff and work items, you kind of need that extra space. And it just kind of gives you a bit more of an open out section if you needed it. Now, as well as those sections, I really liked the quality of the leather. Now, it smells amazing, that gorgeous leather smell. Then you've got inside, you've got like this microfiber kind of suede-like effect inside. So it's not, it's kind of leather exterior. And then the internal section is all this kind of suede, uh, kind of microfiber, and this bit's padded. And I liked it all being the same colour, but I think as well, it does come in different colours. I think there's black, conker leather and the tan pebbled leather. And they come in different sizes. So you've got the mini, you've got the work bag and you've got the handbag. The handbag, I think, is a bit smaller, but it doesn't have the zip. So you can't actually put the laptop in as such in like separate sections. You've got the kind of crossbody strap, which is detachable. You can remove that. And then you've got the little top handle. So that's really nice as kind of alternative ways to carry it, especially when I'm um, traveling and, and out and about, it gives you the, a bit of alternative ways to wear it. And again, I like the branding. The branding is minimal. You can actually as well, I don't think they do it specifically in store, but they, the one I went in at Stanford, they did recommend that you can get a personalization through a company that they do use. So I could get something like my initials on, a bit like they do at like Louis Vuitton, but I actually at the moment have not done that. I may get something at a later date, maybe at the back with my name on or initials. 
One other thing as well with the bag is that when you do buy it, whether it's online or in store, they do tell you you get an 18 month warranty. So if anything kind of, you know, the hardware breaks or something happens, it's, it's good to have that because I think an 18 month warranty you wouldn't always get with bags, certainly not bags that I've bought over the years. So that's an added bonus. Um, but so far, it's been three months and all the zips are good. Everything seems to be working and in order so far. So with regards to the bag, I think I, I all these kind of pros that I mentioned, so the kind of hardware, the quality of the leather, the adaptability of the kind of inside compartments, the fact that I can carry both my MacBooks uh, that fit perfectly well. And just the overall appearance of it, I think it's really professional looking and and clearly very kind of practical in, in the way it's been designed. So a lot of thought has gone into how someone would want to be using this for work, but the fact that you can get a mini Windsor or a handbag Windsor where you don't have the compartments gives a bit more, well, a few other options that you could do if you didn't specifically need it for work. And I like that. And I like the different colour variations. And if I've got footage, I'll put it on screen. When I went to the store, they'd got some of the mini Windsors with a mixture of suede and leathers together. So they're the pros. And then what we'll do is we'll kind of get stuck into the cons. So for the cons, what we'll do is we'll break it down into a few of the key cons, I would say, for me. Now, I'm five foot four five foot three, five foot four, and I'm like a size 14. So I didn't want a bag that was too massive because it one, it would be quite cumbersome to be kind of carrying around, but also the nature of what I'm gonna be putting in the bag was gonna be quite heavy, so two MacBooks. Now, when you get the bag, so this is totally empty right now, and it's heavy, like it is sturdy leather, it, it smells great, but it is heavy. Like this is not a light bag when it's empty, just, just to note. And then when you add one or two max, you can really notice it. I mean, it's great, there's a, there's a great sturdy top handle, but it's heavy. You will, on like short trips, it may be not as, as bad, but if you're carrying this around through transits and long meetings, it, it's a heavy bag, it's, it's not light. So I would say that overall, as a as a con, whether it's empty or with things in, you just need to bear that in mind. And because of that, being heavy, the fact that it does have the crossbody, it's which is great, I would have liked a thicker strap in relation to how big the bag is. Because of the weight distribution, even though it's going over crossbody, or in a sense over the shoulder, because it's such a small strap, it's not that comfortable when you've got a lot in the bag. So I think if it was a, a wider strap, it would help with um, the kind of comfort of what you're carrying. Um, I understand why they've done it like this. And I like the fact that it's all the same colour. But and also you can detach it. So if you wanted to get a separate, you know, strap, buy something yourself, uh, maybe a, you know, a more casual looking one with canvas or or you could do leather or you could do just some kind of other fabric, depending on what kind of style you wanted to go for. But for me, it would have been nice to have had a wider strap, I think, certainly from when I've been wearing it. Then a, another, another negative would be wh whether it's full or not, when you're carrying it crossbody, specifically crossbody or over the shoulder, so not using the top handle, you will find when you've got stuff in it, it kind of leans forward and this will quite often pop open if you've got stuff in it. I mean, it's obviously not doing it now because it's empty, but when you've got, you know, like most people that when they've got their handbag, you've obviously got quite a lot of stuff in it. You will find that when you've got it kind of cross body or over the shoulder, it will kind of lean forward a bit and open out. And that's not great, like security wise, like if I was on the tube or something, I'd be kind of mindful about kind of covering my bag because you wouldn't want it all just to open out. I mean, these are obviously zipped, but the main section isn't zipped. You've only got this popper that kind of divides, but you could still, you know, someone could still put 
stuff in, you know, their hand in your bag. So, and I've just found that seems to be if I've loaded up the bag quite a bit and I've got my map books in, it does kind of, um, kind of not pull, but kind of open out a little bit. Then another thing as well, I would say negatively is that as much as these extenders are great, it's really hard, if I can kind of show, this bit here is really, at the moment, still quite rigid. And it would be really nice if you could kind of see this bag and kind of open it up to its full capacity. But because these kind of, I guess, invert inwards, you can see it's taking up space in your bag that you might want to use. I don't know if that makes sense. So the way it kind of goes in, means you're losing kind of fundamental space that your bag could be using for other things. But because it's going like that with the nature of the leather, it naturally wants to go that way. You can kind of try and push it out like this, but it's not a natural position for it to be in and certainly not after three months. So again, because I want to put other things in it, um, but because both sides are kind of going in like that, it's less space. I mean, it's it's a spacious bag. You can get a lot in it, but the way it's got that, you can't really choose pulling it out. And also it would, it would look quite strange because of the nature of the style and appearance of the bag. It wants to go like that, so it opens out. I don't know if that makes sense, but if I've got any images, I'll kind of show you on screen. So that's a bit of a shame. And then also as well, when you've got, I would say, for me personally, I do like having bags which do have kind of adaptability. So obviously this has got a top handle. It's got a detachable crossbody slash over the shoulder. But for me, one of the things I wasn't sure about initially, and it's not like a massive deal breaker, but I do like work bags where this handle, a bit like if you could visualize a Neverfall, a uh, Louis Vuitton bag, where it's a longer top handle and you can actually put that over your shoulder. Now, I, I would like that to have, you know, this on here because this isn't hugely comfortable for me and this is not much of a drop for my arm. So I can't really put it kind of over my shoulder and I'd rather be kind of carrying it like this, which obviously looks a bit stupid but if it had a you know longer drop like a never fall i'd be able to put it over my shoulder and have that as another option so i'm i think that would have been really nice and would have been a bit better for me personally i love the bag i'm really glad i've got it i think for 415 pounds it's actually really pretty good for the quality and, and what i've got but there's just a few little things that would have been nice if they could kind of tweak that. Because I do think having a better drop here in particular to be able to put it over your shoulder would be so handy, would be really, really handy. And I did look at other bags that did have that, but they didn't have the kind of options with my laptops and other things. So it was kind of what's kind of better out of the two so I overall really love it it's really nice there are some cons but there's a lot more pros and you know it was never going to be perfect for kind of my I guess specific requirements but I love it so I've been using it loads uh, again I've had various compliments I like the fact you kind of change things out so you can kind of freshen it up Maybe later on in the year, I might get another colour or maybe something suede. So it kind of gives it a bit of a new lease of life. But I really like it. I was really impressed with the staff at Fairfax and Favour. They were so helpful because I did go through so many different band, like options of bags to look at. But no, this, this Windsor work bag from Fairfax and Favour is um, definitely the bag for this year. And I got it for myself for my birthday. So it was my little birthday treat. And I think it was a really good decision that I made. And again, if you guys were interested in Fairfax and Favour, any of the items that they do, 
I'll put the 10% link in the description bar below. So just click on the link and it's just for new customers. But if you wanted to check them out, any of their other items, footwear, coats, etc., just see what they've got. And let me know what you think. If you've also got anything that's from Fairfax and Faber, let me know. Because there are some kind of trainers that I really like that I'm kind of, if I've got a picture, I'll put them on the screen. I'm kind of tempted and I've put that on my kind of wish list for maybe later on in the year. But also, if you've got the Windsor work bag, let me know which one you've got, whether you've got the black one or the conker leather one, and what you think as well, how you use it for work, and whether you've actually swapped out the strap and actually put it something else with it, or you just use the top handle only. Because at the moment, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to get a different strap, maybe a bigger one, and just see how it looks. But yeah, really love it. Really glad I got it. I hope this video helped. So it is kind of around about three months for the review. And I think that's enough time for me to really get a feel for how, how I use it and how I found it on like a day to day. So I really hope it was somehow beneficial if you're considering buying something or even you've not even heard of the brand. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.